Hello, Ljubljana. I'm calling in from the state of Delaware in the United States. My name is Liliana Rafoff, and I am a second year anthropology student at the University of Delaware. This semester, I have the privilege of conducting research under the mentorship of Dr. Carla Giron Montero, a cultural and applied anthropologist. My research contributes to the upcoming volume, Why Anthropology Needs the Global South, co-edited by Dr. Giron Montero and Dr. Dan Podier, a professor at the University of Ljubljana. I was also tasked with creating this video for the conference, Why the World Needs Anthropology, which I am now very pleased to tell you all about. Our event took place at the exhibition titled Mine, What is Ours in the Wake of Extraction, which focuses on the social, political, economic, and environmental dynamics of resource extraction. Extraction puts indigenous cultures, such as the Rakba in Peru, at risk. Illegal mining driven by Western demand has led to environmental destruction, pollution, and societal issues, threatening the Rakba's culture and traditional knowledge. The exhibition showcases artworks by the Hrakbut that were created for the purpose of this exhibition as a part of the Etichim Collective, which identifies as an artistic practice that aims to paint so as not to forget. These artworks are representative of these issues and aim to raise awareness and emphasize the widespread effects of extractive industries on communities and the environment. This free, on-campus exhibition was attended by my classmates from Dr. Guillermo Montero's class. After viewing the exhibit, we held a discussion on how anthropology can amplify marginalized voices, practices, and perspectives. We began by discussing the importance of viewing the environment as our relation instead of as a resource, much like the Hrakwa do. A relative, not as a resource. I think from like the Western perspective, from seeing the nature and just all the resources and the minerals on Earth as a resource, and how they can make money has been really damaging. Next, we emphasize that cultural exchange should be reciprocal and not one-sided like extraction tends to be. I think for so long, anthropology was a one-way extractivist situation, whereas if we want to move forward, it has to be a two-way relationship. We cannot just drop into a culture, you know, take what we need for our book and our thesis and then leave. It has to be a back and forth, there has to be a whole relationship for the people that we actually come from. Another key point was that through introducing the Harakbut to a Western art form, they were able to express themselves in a way that allowed us to gain insight into their experiences. We gave the indigenous people a Western form of art. Use this so we yeah. can understand you better. Instead of looking at it as like, oh, we just want to take some of your art because a lot of it was based on like what they paint on their bodies and whatnot. But I'm still thinking about how that's such a unique and but understanding way to really be like, let's use our tools, except you're going to use them, In so I can understand you better, kind of thing. However, a contrasting view was raised, that instead of interpreting their struggles through a Western lens, we should strive to understand them through their own cultural expression. It's odd, I think, and I feel like it needs to expand uh, of how we document these things because it could be very much possible that they just ask, please show that your cultural art form, and then we will document it this way versus can you adapt your culture into it. By the end of the event, we agree that education and awareness are key to truly understanding cultural issues. It's important that we not only educate ourselves, but take the time to educate others in order to foster a broader awareness. We also understand that cultural exchange can't just be about taking. This has to be a give and take symmetric relationship so that both sides benefit. Giving back in meaningful, respectful ways so as not to interrupt the way of life of local cultures is essential in ensuring fairness in these exchanges. If we really want to use anthropology to better our world, it is crucial that we approach these issues with respect, humility, and a genuine desire to understand each other. That's all I have for you today. I hope this discussion has shed light on the important role that anthropology plays in improving our world, and I hope it has inspired you to make a positive change in the world in your own way. It's been a pleasure to be a part of the Why the World Needs Anthropology Conference. Thank you for your time, and goodbye.